The Junior World Orienteering Championship 2016 will be taking place in Switzerland, specifically in the beautiful region of the Lower Engadin Valley, with Squall being the host city. In July, the Lower Engadin shows off with its magnificent mountain scenery, lush meadows full of mountain flora and its traditional historical villages all situated between 1000 and 2000 meters above sea level. The sprint competition will be held in the town of Squall. It has a long thermal bath history offering 20 different mineral springs. In the old town you will find narrow streets, historical buildings and the beautiful traditional architecture typical for the Lower Engadin. Shopping streets and the thermal bath area are found in the more modern part of town. Running the sprint in Squall means for me to concentrate on different challenges. On the spot quick decisions, the shortest route may not always be obvious and I have to focus on map reading even when getting tired from the climbs during the race. The terrain of the middle distance starts at the River Inn on some flat terraces. Higher up, the terrain becomes more broken and steeper. During the race, one is challenged by several tasks. My tactic would be to orienteer even if the terrain looks as beautiful as in a fairy tale. However, orienteering is not easy. The steepness of the slope makes it physically demanding and the contour lines show a very detailed landscape. Finding all the controls straight on is a big challenge and one has to adapt the speed during the race. If you want to be the champion of the day, you have to rely on all your skills. The air is extremely clean up on 2000 meters above sea level, but it is also thin. This means one might become breathless during the long distance race on the Pastalfuorn. Not only the thin air might take your breath away, but also the tremendously beautiful views and the landscape. Pastalfuorn is just on the edge of the Swiss National Park, a unique countryside which one passes on the way to the race. The terrain is quite rough, with some rocks and thicker vegetation as well as lots of contour details. Be prepared for some tricky route choices and changes from open areas to wooded sections. For sure, one has to be concentrated and focused all the time.
The relay at the Junior World Orienteering Championship is always a highlight and it will not be any different in school. Fast terrain and exciting competition is waiting for you and your teammates. Clean forest ground with just some grass asks for fast running. But watch out as I know. Tricky areas together with lots of other runners having the same determination and high goal will require complete focus. Running in with your teammates will be unforgettable and you may feel like the princess or the prince of the castle of Tarash, which is just around the corner of the relay area. We will be offering an unforgettable week in the Lower Engadinan School. Take the challenge, give your best and enjoy the rest. <laughs>